This is a small news clip of Detective Thomas Casey, and I'm starting to look up certain things on the news and stuff like that that might be interesting, so I thought, why not do a miniature reaction, and I say miniature because it's such a short video. Um, but let's watch this, you guys. I really have a lot of respect for this man. And he was the lead detective in the Slender Man case in Wisconsin. If you didn't hear of that, look it up. It's about a young, uh, actually two young girls, I believe, that and, and little girls we're talking about, that tried to kill their friend. And they said Slender Man made him do, made them do it. So, look that up, but let's uh, pay attention to this right now. It's been a long 11 months. No one knows the Waukesha Parade tragedy better than lead detective Tom Casey. One of the, you know, most notorious cases, um, most labor intensive, one of the most unfortunate cases that we've ever had. The veteran investigator speaking exclusively with 12 News Friday about what it took to convict Daryl Brooks the driver who violently killed six people and injured more than 60 others last November. He credits Wednesday's guilty verdict in large part to the nearly 400 pieces of video evidence they collected. Jurors watched many of them. They're so powerful, but you would hear people crying behind you in the gallery, and then you'd look up and you'd see the jury crying and you know, wiping the tears from their eyes. And it well, this is the first time that I heard that, I, I mean, I'm, I pretty much guess that I'm sure that they were tearing up and stuff, talking about the jury here. Um, but to have Detective Casey say that he witnessed the jurors having to wipe their tears away and stuff, wow. Investigator, but also a key witness. I'm yelling stop and pounding on the hood and trying to get the person's attention so they can stop. Casey was on duty that day and testified about how he tried to stop Brooks from entering the parade route. How much did you think about that moment in the days and weeks and months after? After it happened, you, you obviously have this thought in the back of your head. You're sort of second guessing yourself. You know, what if I sh should have I done this? Should have I done that? Casey not backing down when he had Brooks in front of him again, this time in court. An investigator, but also a key witness. I'm yelling stop and pounding on the hood and trying to get the person's attention so they can stop. Casey was on duty that day and testified about how he tried to stop Brooks from entering the parade route. How much did you think about that moment in the days and weeks and months after? After it happened, you, you obviously have this thought in the back of your head, you're sort of second guessing yourself, you know, what if I sh should have I done this, should have I done that. Casey not backing down when he had Brooks in front of him again, this time in court as Brooks represented himself at trial. Do you recall any uh, disturbances that afternoon? You drove past me and wouldn't stop. When you spoke to Brooks, you said you. Was that deliberate? We wanted to make sure that the jury knew that it was Daryl Brooks, the person that was, you know, asking the questions, was the suspect and the person that was responsible for what happened. Casey, now set to retire after a 25-year career, was also a lead investigator in the Slenderman case. Last night was the first night that I really got to sleep. But says now he can rest easier, knowing Brooks will likely spend the rest of his life behind bars. I think it's a sense of closure for people that they've been waiting for 11 months to get to this point. Detective Casey, Detective Casey did great with this case and investigation and all that. And to hear he's retiring, it's like, oh my God, who's going to take his place? Can anybody take his place? You know, is he replaceable? I don't think so. Uh, maybe someone could work as hard as he did and care as much as he did, but... I, I don't know. I think he actually still cares, regardless of him retiring or not. Um, he he just seems like a great guy, honestly. And Wisconsin needs some great uh, investigators, detectives, police officers. I mean, every state needs all that, you know. That's just the state I came from, and yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip. Um, 
I just thought I wanted to do a small reaction and this is perfect so thanks everybody for watching please make sure to like or dislike whatever leave a comment and check the description if you'd like to help the channel thank you very much you guys